evening. I'm Abigail Wing. I'm standing in for David on Gamers on Games. We're here with Scott Ostrander. He's terrified of the camera, but he's going to tell us about his game anyway. Scott, hit your game to me. Okay. Um, Dungeon Dwellers a card game is a cooperative game for two more players. Okay. Um, the players will uh, fight several levels of uh, monsters before they get to the big boss and an epic game. Okay, you described this to me earlier as a complete experience, right? Yes, so it's kind of only, it kind of writes its own story where the players start off with a very limited amount of um, abilities and, and tactics and things. But as they go through the dungeon, it gets harder and harder for them, where the final boss, they may not even make it through. So it's a very challenging and a very exciting ending to the game. Wait, so it's a co-op game where they might fail completely? Yes, there is that chance. Okay, interesting. Um, it sounds to me almost like you're walking them through the mechanics of a role-playing game in a much more simplified fashion. Is yes. that fair? Yeah, that's a, that's a great uh, analogy. But uh, the, the players, it's, it's kind of taking the fantasy genre, kind of slimming it down for them so that when they're uh, going through the experience, they, they really feel like they're not playing a game, but they're going through an actual story. Of Okay, and is this something that you recommend for all ages? Is this something where an entry-level role player might get their feet wet? Uh, entry-level players I'd recommend too. It's kind of a good introduction because you don't have to do the actual role-playing. Uh, the cards kind of dictate how the game plays so they can see uh, different kind of characters and how they would react to each other in a dungeon adventure. So if you have a card gamer that doesn't want all that messy role-playing in their game, they can have that experience too. It is the too. perfect thing for them. Perfect. Um, and if you have a more advanced player, are they going to be bored or are they going to have plenty to well, work on? Once you get past the, uh, the basics of the game, you'll find that there's a lot of strategy involved. Uh, people will interact with each other uh, trying to figure out how they can complete the dungeon without losing any of the characters in the game. Oh right, because it's cooperative and they have to work together in order to beat the boss at the end. Exactly. Absolutely. So, I want to own this. How do I do that? <laughs> Okay, well currently we're running a Kickstarter program. It's running right now to the end of August. Okay. Um, we uh, have a website here and we're doing play testing all weekend here at Gen Con. And uh, we're really excited about the feedback we've been getting from all our, uh, our testers here. Okay, fantastic. What one thing are you most proud of in the design of the game? I think it's the cooperative aspect of the game where the players really are looking to each other during their turn. So it's not like one person is actually um, doing their turn while the other players are sitting around. They're actually working together and trying to figure out uh, what's the best strategy for the whole group. Okay, interesting. Um, so check out his Kickstarter page. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing this become a reality. Thank you.